and I bet you're all dying to know, what can a dozen cupcakes buy you? Well, let me first tell you how I got here. I'm originally from Massachusetts, and <laughs> I moved to Tucson to attend the University of Arizona. Well, on one of their many cross-country flights out to visit me, my father read an article in the Wall Street Journal about barter. He decided to ditch the East Coast, and as they say, the rest is history. So in 1978, when my parents were busy building the family business, I was finishing my studies, I eventually left college, and I took a job in the travel business. I eventually founded my own travel agency, which is why I never imagined that I'd be working in the family business, although it was a topic at the dinner conversation for as long as I can remember. That is, until my dad passed away, then moving across town and helping my mom seemed like the only thing to do. I sold the travel agency. So I worked with my mom side by side until her passing in 2001. I help small business owners build their business, and, and I guess you're still wondering, what can you buy with a dozen cupcakes? Well, first let me tell you about the business of barter. Barter conjures up all sorts of images in your head, from snake oil salesmen to, um, to livestock. But barter certainly has been around for a very long time. It's practical, it's efficient, and it's a necessary tool in today's economy. So what do I do? I connect small businesses to other small businesses here in the Valley. And the premise is to make mutually beneficial connections. So let's say, for example, there's a printer. Well, we can assume that at some point, another small business owner will need printing services. But what if the printer needs a florist? But the florist doesn't need a printer. Well, that's where 21st century barter comes in. Because let's say the printer and the florist both belong to a network, let's say of hundreds of other business owners, like dry cleaners and doctors and attorneys, well, it doesn't matter. Because each member of that network has their own account. Their dollars are banked, and they can use those dollars with any participating business owner. So I believe that the power, the synergy of these relationships creates a powerful good in our community. I believe that it strengthens our local economy. And let me tell you a story to explain. About 15 years ago, a plumbing contractor came to me, asked me if I could find a caterer to put on a, a party for him. Well, I was introduced to a young woman who, with a partner, was starting a catering company. They were in dire need of restaurant equipment. After our meeting, she decided she loved barter. I decided I loved her. So I called a local restaurant supply company, and I asked them if they would be able to help these girls with a commercial kitchen. And they said, of course. So the plumber got the party, the caterer got the commercial kitchen, and the restaurant supply house, well, they were able to marry off both of their daughters. <laughs> <laughs> and now I've completely forgotten what, what I was going to say um, from that point. I'm sorry. Um, no, 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 I got it, I got it. So um, fast forward, uh, fast forward. The catering company has morphed into the, one of the most reputable in the Valley. In addition, they own three wildly successful restaurants. So the obvious benefit is that Barter helped them build their dream, but it did more than that. Because that catering company and all her restaurants, well, they employ hundreds of people here in the Valley. They support the local farmers markets, the local food purveyors. That strengthens our economy. I could go on and on about these great stories about barter and how barter helps small businesses, and that helps our local community. But I'm going to get back to that original question, and that is, what can a dozen cupcakes buy you? Well, what do you need? 